As part of the Lord's Commission to take the Gospel to the ends of the earth, Pastor Dilkuma is the founder and senior overseeing pastor of King's Revival Church International, the largest overflowing, multifaceted, full gospel church in the Middle East. Lives are being touched by the power of the Holy Spirit through the Lord Jesus Christ. As he travels extensively to many nations, ministering in miracle revival healing services and teaching conferences, the ministry impacts thousands of lives around the world. The multifacets of the ministry is in establishing churches, rehabilitation centers, supporting students in Bible colleges around the world, church planting, television programs, Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness, Orphanages, Feed the Children program, radio programs. You can now be a part of this great fruit-bearing ministry that brings glory to our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. See us on www.kings-revival.com Jesus. Uh, I just want 
said that after four of the course, four of his time, he said he, he, he gave up everything. He, when I turned out of the the car, he said, nothing is working out. And he wants to give up everything. And when the pastor said, no, no, you are Timothy. This is for you. And I know that it's a word for him that God wants to speak his heart. And as pastor said, that he had a big bad childhood. His mom died when he was very small. And his dad had Alzheimer's disease. And he was looking after his dad. He had a very bad childhood where he doesn't want to go back in there. But God confirmed to me that not to give up that he has a good future. Jesus. So I just want to pray. I will thank God. I want those people that will see me. Sometimes people come here just to check out who God is. When he's here around the world, I have been a Christian for the last 20 years. God has done so, many, so much in my life. And I have read books and books and talk to people days and days. But God has done my life. But what God did today, do you think of his name? It was a miracle. It's a miracle. You all are here just for a purpose. You are not here by accident. You are here for a purpose. So I really thank God, thank God for, for His love, as Pastor said, His, his, his love and His faithfulness. Thank you very much, Pastor. God bless you, Lord. Lord, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands to Jesus. It's the Savior who has done it all. He is God forever. He is God forever. And this young mother yes, has had a, a, a migraine headache. And you called out uh, migraine headaches to be healed, Pastor, and she has been healed. So the Lord, the headache is gone, completely gone, the headache. Jesus is Lord. How do you feel now? You have the peace of God in you. You are going to sleep well, somebody will wake you up in the morning. Yes, you are going to sleep well from tonight. You have the great peace and joy in you. It's all Jesus who has done it all. Shoulder problem uh, for about six months. And it has been completely healed that she can do what she can do before. Don't hit me with your hand. Yes, yes, yes. It's all the Lord Jesus. It's all the Lord Jesus. Bless your feet now. have a couple of testimonies. Yes. My mom walked into a sharp pain and I've had it for about 20 years and I've just learned to live with it. Last night as I was praying, I was praying for someone else actually and I just felt the heat. And today for the first time in my house, I've actually walked in the house without bombs for the first time when I prayed. You know, sometimes I really say that I have black spots in the back of my mind and I have to go for a new brand. I couldn't see long distance, but now I can see long distance clearly. I can see the words of God. I couldn't stand for long. I had to sit down whilst the service was going on. But a little while ago, all my pain has vanished. And I give praise and glory Jesus. to my God. I Jesus. thank you, Lord Jesus. I could not meet my wish like this for years and years. I've had shoulder problems, and I don't know what's wrong with me. I've had operations and needles, and I've been touching it, and I can't feel the pain. I'm praising and worshiping. And then you asked me to check yourself. And sometimes we get scared to check ourselves because we're in disbelief. But you know, there's a time when I started checking myself. Not because I was in disbelief, but I was in disbelief. 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 To come up because I believe we all have a disbelief, and that's wrong. Because if we don't believe, we're not going to be healed. So there's probably someone else out there who's been healed. Don't be afraid to believe in it, because if you believe in it, you'll be healed. word of knowledge that someone had a spirit of fear from childhood and I believe that Lord has done that healing even, even in me. Yes. I want to praise God that our pastor Dukama said that there's a girl who's praying for her mom and her needs and say God is going to meet her mom's need. I really praise God for that because my mom really has got lots of needs and God is going to meet her. As part of the Lord's commission to take the gospel to the ends of the earth, Pastor Dilkuma is the founder and senior overseeing pastor of King's Revival Church International, the largest overflowing, multifaceted, full gospel church in the Middle East. 
lives are being touched by the power of the Holy Spirit through the Lord Jesus Christ. As he travels extensively to many nations, ministering in miracle revival healing services and teaching conferences, the ministry impacts thousands of lives around the world. The multifacets of the ministry is in establishing churches, rehabilitation centers, supporting students in Bible colleges around the world, church planting, television programs, Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness, Orphanages, Feed the Children program, radio programs. You can now be a part of this great fruit-bearing ministry that brings glory to our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. See us on www.kings-revival.com